Hey guys, what's going on? So this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to go ahead and show you what happened during my testing session last night. Things did not go as well as I expected them to, but we learned a lot and we've got some data to look at, some things to talk about, some reasons why things didn't turn out the way that they did. Also show you some more stuff that's coming up on the channel here. So check out some of this video that I shot yesterday when I thought everything was going to be awesome and then we'll come back here and talk it all over. How's it going, fellow drag racers? Welcome back to the Dorky and 40 channel. Same story as usual, been dodging a lot of raindrops. I think today we got a clear day and then it could rain for like the next six or seven days after that. Things are not looking very good for our list race tomorrow. We very well could get canceled, but that's tomorrow, not today. So what we're gonna do today is we are going to test this stuff in here. We're currently breaking in some tires with some heat on them and just doing some burnouts usually you use sandpaper things like that but most importantly this baby right here this is the trinity whole shot drag master three turn so we're gonna go from the phantom three and a half and we're gonna try out this trinity now when it comes to all the bells and whistles the phantom definitely has a lot more specialized things inside than the trinity does I've replaced uh, some of the steel screws and stuff with titanium. I've got another rotor on the way and some better bearings. We're going to go out and give it a shot. We'll talk about gearing and everything like that when we get out there. Got a soft tune in there, working on that. So that's pretty much it. It's very exciting. I know a lot of people are were running these last weekend at our Cash uh, Days event. If you did not see that video, check out over here in the link and you will be able to see some really cool racing and a super big shout out for all of your continued support and subscriptions if you're here for the first time hit that link and hit that bell we do a lot of no prep stuff and we've got a lot of stuff coming and like only 25 percent of you are even subscribed so you know what to do we have received the breakout chassis by five star hobbies we're just waiting on parts to come for it. This is gonna be my cash day car, unless I start falling apart on the list and then we'll switch to it. But for right now, we're gonna keep running that DR10 and see how fast we can get it using the stock chassis and not a whole lot of upgrade parts besides your ESC and motor. This is gonna have a lot going on inside of it. So again, don't forget to subscribe and you're gonna see all about it. So I have been working on suspension and everything a lot lately. I changed my shot position a little bit here and also went with a lighter spring to go with the lighter oil that we're using to see if we can get a little bit more action going on. Also got the slipper a lot tighter than I typically have. We've got some stuff coming for this car to redo the diff, some better bearings to put in there. We're gonna tear it down and clean it up. As I said, this is my list car and I haven't done a whole lot to it besides swap motors, tires, things like that. So she's due for a good cleanup and some service. So that's what's going to happen this week. Now this surface out here is not that good. We learned that last week when I ran my personal best. Really didn't do anything different. So when I went from the, the 4.5 to the 3.5, out here, I went from running in the 2.6s to the 2.5s. So I'm hopefully gonna be able to, let's say knock another 10th off. My personal best, the 233 that you saw actually on the tree was in the 2.2s. I think it was like 2.269. So surface, just a great day, everything working right. So if I can get into the two fours here, then I'm gonna consider that a success and that's what we're gonna roll with. McLean app does not wanna to connect to the iPhone. Come on, McLean, freaking give us some connectivity. This is ridiculous. This, this should not be this difficult. Two point six five, pretty slow. Gonna have to do some work on this here. A little hotter tune, 
down to 255. So we did a lot of work last night. As I thought, the list race was canceled because of rain. It's been pouring rain all day. Very unfortunate, but we got a whole week now to wait on the cool stuff to show up and to do some more testing on this car. So there was a lot more running video. I probably did about 10 to 15 hits and only showed a couple of them there. Basically, we ended up right where we started at the 255 mark, which pretty much is what the car is going to do. And we're going to, the last tip was really good. We're going to go over the data on this and show exactly what is happening. And the bottom line is that without some more time and in my opinion, some better batteries, I don't think in my current state, I can run a three turn motor. You're going to see huge voltage drops compared to what I was getting on my three and a half turn moving up and down the pinions. I'm sure there is like a sweet spot with gearing in there somewhere that we could get it to work, but it's pretty much evident that you need those big, powerful max amps uh, batteries with the multiple cell configurations and everything like that. I'll show them to you here. You can take a look and see what I'm talking about. These are the batteries. Um, I, won't, I don't have two of them coming until like mid to late August because of their delivery delays and everything. So that kind of stinks. So we're gonna have to just keep on working on the three and a half turn Phantom, which isn't a bad thing, let's face it. It's running good. And I think if we clean up the DR10 a little bit with just some uh, small mods that I have coming, I think we're gonna be able to gain a little bit of time as well. So let's take a look at some of this data here. We'll switch over to the desktop. Now, if this is the log. If you just go and look at these voltages here, this is just one part of the log uh, where the voltages were getting hit the hardest. You can see that we are dropping down. You know, this was a fully charged battery fresh off the pack. I even went as far as to HV charge a battery to see if it could hold up by having that extra 0.3 volts on there, 0.4 volts, and it didn't matter one bit at all the battery just got hammered. You can see a 5.6 volts here, right? Probably when the, the turbo was kicking in because I have a 0.1 second, a 0.2 second delay. So that would be about right, 0.8 to 0.1. And you can see that it's just getting hammered and then it's just kind of running out of steam. I think on that run, I picked up uh, maybe at about 65, uh, 67,000 RPMs. Now, comparatively, running 9018 with the three and a half turn Phantom, I was making close to 80,000 RPMs and I was never seeing my voltages drop below seven volts um, off of a fully charged battery, one hit on that good surface that we raced on last week. So here's a look at the actual graph in the app. Um, we're gonna be looking, it's kind of, they need to expand this out a little bit more so you can kind of dial in and just look at the area that you wanna see. Um, you can slide this bar actually over in here and look, but it's kind of tough to get and pinpoint, but you can see that right here is zero throttle and we started and then we have the slow increase to 1000 and then that's the end of the hit down here well let's see this is temperature here's our voltage just going wild spiking going down going up and down everything like that and here is this dark blue line this is our rpms so you can see kind of if you look close here that we were making rpms and then we kind of got it kind of was shuddering here at the end with the voltage at the same time. So that pretty much confirms what I was thinking as far as voltage and all that stuff goes. Now I could maybe try dropping down to like a 15, a 14 tooth pinion, something like that and see what happens. Uh, but honestly, I just don't think at this time it's worth it since we got the breakout chassis and everything. And I do have an a scale uh rx8 uh, gen 3 coming that we're going to be throwing in there with the three turn and that should definitely handle it that the max amps batteries and stuff like that 
Now I do run Max Amps batteries now, but they're the 5002 cells, which just don't have the, both of those cells just taking such a hit. They just can't deliver the power that like we're demanding with that kind of motor and output system. But yesterday was not a complete loss because we ended up scoring these. So we've got the Reaction Plus tires here, and then we have the Showtime Plus wheels to put them on. So that is going to be a fun experiment on the DR10. I've already got the Phantom switched over back into it and just put in the, the base three and a half turn uh, profile. I'm going to work on that again. I think I remember what my details were, the little changes that I made. And I'm going to test that and just get it going and leave it there. And then that will help make individual little changes a little bit easier spend so much time the past month or two chasing this you know race to go faster that you're making multiple changes at once and it kind of makes things hard when you're trying to settle in on what the difference is is this suspension changes helping did tightening the slipper help it? did changing the pinion gear even help you know when you go in there and you start dialing in turbo and changing your stage times and everything else all at once, you just lead yourself down this big rabbit hole. So you wanna to try to avoid doing things like that. I'm super excited about having a second platform to play with that's gonna make me be able to give you guys more information here on the channel because I know there's some people that think about wanting to go into another chassis versus running a stock one, but they are unsure of it and everything. I know I was myself. Um, but I'm excited to see just how much better it actually is. I've seen all these different chassis in action. I've been waiting for one to come out that I felt was complete and at a reasonable price. Uh, the breakout chassis seems to be the winner for me right now. Just the way that everything will swap over to it. I know you can get a bullet chassis pretty much the same uh, price wise by the time you get the chassis and the B6 kit. But this one, I think, has some uh, good uh, people, good development behind it. Not saying the other ones don't, uh, but I'm pretty excited about it. And I know, you know, Midwest RC has one, so he's going to help me uh, through some things. He's already helped me pick out some things that uh, we should put on there. And, you know, we're going to do maybe some live stream videos and some uh, collaboration videos and stuff as far as building this, testing it, and stuff like that too, uh, because he's got. Uh, a few different things on his that he's trying out and you know right now his car is definitely faster than mine which is great um, I would love to catch him at some point that is for sure but we'll see how well, things go and what happens but anyway guys thanks for stopping by really appreciate it hopefully this helps you guys uh, understand some things a little bit better I know that it helped me and kind of put me back in focus as far as what I need to do and going out and testing the night before a race is uh, you know, not the best thing to do, that's for sure. So thanks for coming. Bye, guys. Peace.